Hi guys! Recently, ang dami kong natatanggap ng mga messages like Ate Cha, paano ko ba malalaman if kailangan ko nang mag-let go? So, I decided to make a video for that para makatulong ako sa inyo, lalo na sa sitwasyon natin ngayon. I had relationships before and what I'm going to share with you guys ay yung ilan sa mga reasons ko kung bakit I decided to let them go. Okay? So, sana makatulong din sa inyo. Disclaimer lang po ah, I'm not an expert, okay? Um, siguro, lagi ko lang tinitignan kung anong uh, pwede kong matutunan sa sitwasyon ko. So, why not share it with you guys, di ba? Okay, so first one, if you cannot be yourself anymore. Paano yun? Um, kunwari, meron kang gustong i-person na passion mo or you wanted to be closer to God pero hindi niya maintindihan why you have to do that. Alam mo yung parang wala ng support na natatanggap. Um, isa sa mga natutunan ko kasi, hindi kailangan maging hadlang isang relasyon mo sa isang tao, okay? Sa pag-abot mo sa mga pangarap mo at lalo na sa pag-serve mo kay Lord. Alam niyo yung feeling na alam mong you will grow as a person sa bagay na yun, pero uh, hindi mo tuloy ginagawa, hindi mo tinutuloy kasi iniisip mo yung mararamdaman niya, parang, parang ayaw naman niya, so huwag na lang, hindi dapat ganun. Yes, you have relationship with him or her, but do not forget about yourself. Number two, if it's already one-sided love, alam mo yung parang nararamdaman mo, ikaw na lang yung nag effort to reach him or her out. Um, that's why it's very important for us to know our partner's love language. It can be um, service, words of affirmation, time, or gift, diba? Kasi it will really help the both of you na uh, maging strong at mas maging happy pa yung relationship niyo. And please remember that God wants us to grow as a person. He wants us to grow in character, in faith, and sana wag mo ma-miss yung season na kung saan um, si Lord yung nag-build ng character mo, inaayos ka niya, binubuo ka niya. Kasi alam mo, kung sa ibang tao mo hahanapin yung fulfillment, yung satisfaction, at para maging buo ka, it will never happen. It is only in the presence of God and it is only sa pagmamahal ni Lord lang tayo makakatanggap ng fulfillment at yung 100% na mararamdaman mong buo ka talaga as a person. And by that, kapag naintindihan mo kung gano'ng kakamahal ni Lord, you will surely understand kung paano mo dapat tratuhin at mahalin ng isang tao. So if you are in that season, please know that I really appreciate you and I understand you. But I hope as I end, you'll, you'll realize the beauty of letting go. If letting go means growing as a person, why not? If letting go means, also means um, knowing God more, then why not, ba? Diba? Sometimes, hinahayaan ni Lord na maramdaman natin at mapunta tayo sa mga sitwasyon na to because He wants us to learn. Yun nga lang, in a hard way. Because most of the time, makulit tayo, ang tigas ng ulo natin. But please know that God has not forgotten you. Hindi ka niya nakalimutan. And as you let go, I hope you hold on tight on God's promise, His grace and love for you. And remember that God still has so much in store for you. Hindi pa tapos yung story mo. I hope you learned something. God bless everyone.